Hi everyone, it's very late at night. I'm actually in bed. It's, um, hang on a second, let's check. I'm in Ireland, so it's actually half one in the morning. And um, I've just been given information from America uh, regarding a politician called Steve Lebsock. That's Steve with a V, S-T-E-V-E. -E. Lebsock, L-E-B-S-O-C-K. He's a Democrat living in uh, Denver in Colorado. And um, people already know that we campaign against uh, quack treatments, MMS, there's so many now, and um, the anti-vaccine movement. I'm actually in court next week in relation to MMS, and um, I can't actually believe actually what I've been sent tonight. And um, I've got my dark glasses on because um, I've got problems with my eyes. And I'm on the autism spectrum. I've got Asperger's. I was diagnosed with Asperger's. Uh, Four years ago, and two of my five beautiful kids are on the autism spectrum, and um, they have rights, you know, they have rights like every other human being out there, but those rights are not recognised, okay? They're not recognised, and we see our kids being exploited and experimented on with bogus treatments, used as guinea pigs for quacks and cults, and um, I'm sick of it. I'm actually sick of it, okay? I'm a mother... And I'm tired of my children being exploited by um, idiots and misinformed politicians and quacks and the cults. It's just like a never ending pile of quackery and misinformation. Um, but tonight, what's been sent to me is really just the final bloody straw. Um, so basically, this politician, this Democrat, I'm focusing on the word Democrat because what we usually see with politicians in America that are, you know, kind of siding towards quackery or the pseudoscience anti-vaccine babble are mostly Republicans and they follow Trump. OK, so it's kind of depressing when we see a Democrat um, doing what's been done. OK, so basically this is what's happened, guys. Um, this person, uh, Steve Lebsock, who has already been um, accused of uh, sexual harassment um, towards, I think, a few women in America last year. You know, he's, he's not very, um, doesn't sound like a very nice person, actually, do you, Steve? Anyway, aside from those, um, you know, alleged charges, um, this person, Steve Lebsock, has introduced a bill, wait for it guys, listen to this, all the autistic community um, and people that support human rights, he's introduced a bill to class autism as an epidemic. An epidemic, okay? Where did we hear that kind of language before now? Let me think. Hmm, I know. Nazi Germany. That's it, isn't it? Yes, an epidemic. And he has also compared autism to diseases, okay? Diseases. Autism is not a disease, okay? It's not a sickness. It's not an illness. It's not a disease. It is a neurological difference, okay? The brains are wired differently, okay? You can't cure it. You can't kill it, okay? That's a fact. But this ignoramus, this... Neanderthal of a human being has gone out there and drawn up a bill. I don't know if there's anyone else involved. I can't see any other names attached to this bill. Let's hope there isn't another ignorant person out there like this man. Um, a bill, imagine, to class us as an epidemic. To class me and my children as an epidemic. Oh, look, here comes the epidemic. You better be aware of that epidemic now. Do you not realise, you ignorant, ignorant man, the impact that language has on my children and on the autistic community, referring to us as an epidemic, how they have to function in society, in a society that is already, already exploiting and abusing them. Autistic people do not have the same rights as neurotypical people in society. They don't. In employment, in education, they're being abused with quack treatments left, right and centre. And now, to just 
an insult to injury. You want to class us as an epidemic. What the hell? I mean, do you want us to have like a number or a badge in our skin? Epidemic. Here comes the epidemic. Let's line up the epidemic. What do you want to do with us, Steve? Huh? Do you want to put us into institutions? Do you want to clean up the streets from the autism epidemic? I'm absolutely horrified. How dare you? How dare you describe my children that way? Your bill will not go anywhere. And I'm, I'm seeing the comments there from pro-science community, from educated people, from people that, you know, want equality in society for all members of our society. And do you know what? This is what's really worrying me here, you know, and I've only just discovered this in the last hour. A friend of mine has sent this information to me from America. But I've been looking at Steve and the first thing that came up on the internet were, were these, you know, charges, these alleged charges of sexual harassment towards women. So, you know, that's not very positive, is it, Steve? And then secondly, I go on his Twitter feed and there it is, you know, his conspiracy babble about vaccines, you know. So that's it, isn't it? It's all married to that same quack community where you're like saying, oh, you know, we better butch those vaccines or we'll have another epidemic of autism. Autism has always been there, you ignoramus, you know? And if you actually educated yourself on the subject, it's not that hard to get the answers. If you could just, you know, actually look at the science and look at the facts instead of getting your information from the likes of Andrew Wakefield or Polly Tommy or Del Bigtree or Health Nut News, which is what's happening now with a lot of politicians. They're so bloody lazy that they just jump on the bandwagon, the quack train, and go with the flow. Because you know what it's all about for these politicians as well? It's votes. And I suppose if you've got that negative um, kind of um, impression now because of the women that have accused you of harassment, you probably need the votes more than ever. So what are you doing? You're going to go out there and you're going to side with the quacks and the anti-vaxxers to try and get votes and exploit my kids in the process. I don't think so, okay? Now, I might live in Ireland and I'm here in my bedroom talking to you at this time of night because I care and because I have to go to court next week to fight quacks that put bleach into children that want to poison them, okay? And words like epidemic are feeding those quacks. That's how it works. It's the language that is a starting point for these quack treatments, okay? And that's what you've done. And imagine, just think of it, guys. If this bill came to pass, which it won't, because it could not happen and we won't let it happen. But just imagine the impact that would have on the community that I'm a part of that is already fighting for its basic rights, a right to not be tortured and abused. And now we have to deal with this question of a human being referring to autistic people in this fashion. Um... It's absolutely horrific. And actually, you need to resign now because I swear I will do my best, my very best. I've already rang Denver News tonight in um, Colorado because I feel so outraged by this. Um, and we have made an impact in America before with our campaign work. We, how dare you? How dare you do such a thing? You know what is the real problem and what we need a bill for, actually, is for ignorance. We need a bill to stop the quacks, a bill to stop the anti-vaccine movement who are killing children. They're killing babies. You know, why don't you get off your ass and go down to where Polly Tommy and Andrew Wakefield reside? Get a bill to stop them murdering children. That's what's really important here. They are the real threat to our society. The quacks, the charlatans, the anti-vaccine movement. But no, Target autistic people, you know, try and bring in more fear so that these quacks will profit even further. It's absolutely disgusting. and I, I really just cannot believe that this person who calls himself a Democrat would do this. There are laws, though, you ignoramus, to protect people. 
We have rights, okay? You don't have the right to refer to me or my kids as an epidemic. What, 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 I haven't even got a word that would describe you right now. I just don't. Um, I really hope that you don't have children because I cannot believe that someone actually pens such hate and ignorance. You're not an educated man. And I will be challenging this and I will be exposing this issue as much as I can. And I'm reaching out to everyone tonight from my bed at this time of night. I have five children. I have to get up in the morning and um, my autistic children deserve better than this. Shame on you, Steve Leb Sock. And we will challenge this. Please share this video, guys. And apologies for, um, you know, the late video. But I really just need to show emotion with this. I, I could sit down and write a big statement on Facebook. But this is happening. And um, people need to look him up. His name is Steve Leb Sock. He's a politician, Denver, Colorado introducing a bill to class autism as an epidemic so we can be exploited even further. Um, I don't th think so, Steve. It's not going to happen. And we will do our damnest to get you removed because you shouldn't be in charge of a goldfish. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And please, uh, please share this video. Autism is not an epidemic. And we, we, need, to, we need to stem this hate. We need to stop the ignorance. And we need to protect children from quacks and charlatans and anti-vaccine nutballs, which is what they are. And um, absolutely appalling. Shame on you, Steve Lebsock. But don't think for a minute that we're not going to fight you on this. And I really don't think you'll get much support. But we will make sure that you are exposed for the hate-filled ignoramus that you are. Thanks for watching, guys. And hopefully update you soon on this horrific news. Good night.